she wants to break up with me? What is this? Um, and so clearly that wasn't what you said. So I had to pull back that egoic fear and not let that take over and then allow, not let that, you know, put words in your mouth, which is not at all what you were saying. It's the same reason why, it, you know, in, it's a very common business practice to have a contingency plan, to have an out clause, right? Yes. And oftentimes the reason why that's in, it's not to screw the other person over in business. Now, maybe it is in some situations, but I would offer that uh, it's in there as a way to create a, a just-in-case plan, right? A safety plan, a backup plan. Like, hey, if for some reason you know, we have all the best intentions right now, we want this to succeed, we want this to be as best as it could be, but if something happens, like we want to be able to amicably depart so that it's in the best of all across the board. Whether we succeed or don't succeed together, it's still a success, right? Yes. And so when, you know, I was able to calm back down and, and get, my, <laughs> get my stuff together and be like, oh, okay, yeah, no, this is where uh, it's coming from. It's coming from the fact that she deeply desires a connected relationship with me. And because of this, this is why this is being brought forward. That opened the door. Yes. And having been in the business world, I understood in partnerships in business, you always have that agreement, right? Should we sell the business? This is what it will look like. This is how we dissolve the business should the business not move forward. And it didn't matter how large or small the business was. There was always this agreement for what it would look like in different circumstances if the entire entity were to shut down or be sold off or what have you. Now, I wasn't coming at our relationship like it was a business, but in some ways, I had the same fears, right? What would happen if the relationship dissolved? And I didn't desire us to move forward with that fear looming over our heads. And if it worked in business where I entered into a business agreement with someone and to get that fear off the table and not have it hanging out, we just created this plan for what would happen. And then you know what? <sighs> we all felt better. We didn't worry anymore about what might happen. Instead, we could focus on what was happening in the moment and how we could build toward the most successful future possible. And if that could work in those circumstances where it was all business, why in the world wouldn't it work if we love each other to the depth that we love each other. And then we could just take that completely off the table and not fear, wait a second, am I trapped now? And there's this codependency where I cannot escape, right? There are these words that start coming up, right? Escape, codependency, I'm trapped. Instead, it lightened it up to where I choose you every single day because I have none of that. I know if at any point I choose or you choose to go in a different direction, that we know how that could occur and would occur. And so when we choose each other every day, it makes it so special. And that's so different because that takes us on this depth and exploration of love that wouldn't be possible if it was because I need you either financially or for some other reasons other than the depth of our love. Now, that's not saying that we don't share. We cohabitate. We do all of these things. But again, it isn't because we are bound in some way that we can't unwind. We know how we would do that. Yeah. And we made it easy. That was the best part. This shouldn't be complicated. This shouldn't be a fight. It shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be negative. I mean, that's not, that's not the point. We're going into this 
positively. Our desire is to create a lifelong positive relationship. And so, yeah, I mean, the, the idea of this, of just creating intention that aligns with the type of love that we desire to experience in our relationship. You know, if we, like you were saying, those other, those words of, of trapped, um, or codependency. I mean, those are, those are tough words that people deal with all the time, but there's also have to, there's mm -hmm. also, you know, bound there's, um, you know, the need, like you're saying need, um, like it's, expectation right there's all these other words that are i feel soul crushing in a lot of ways they feel confining not expansive love is expansive and so when we created this approach and you helped me realize like hey this is i love you and so whether we are romantically involved or not i want the very best for you like yeah i couldn't argue with that <laughs> that's 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 the best <laughs> that's that's amazing that's exactly what i would want a partner to hear and that's exactly what is, i desire for you so for us to strategically create that in motion like that all that does is then allow the intention as you're talking about everything that we do from there on is not from a place of fear oh is she going to leave me you know, or is she going to be thinking, I'm going to leave her? You know, is one little action that I do here going to be immediately thought because, you know, because I'm leaving her? Instead, it creates opportunity and space for seeking to understand versus jumping to conclusion. It's, it's, it's amazing what just one thing from the very beginning can do to set up the experience of the rest of your life together. Mm -hmm.